Hey, what's up everybody? It's Royce from Pedal Mel. Welcome to my channel. Tonight's video is going to be checking out this 118th scale diecast metal 1984 Audi S1 Sport Quattro from Norev. And this is the third time I've done this video, so let's hopefully this gets done and completed. For whatever reason, I had issues on the other times I had done the video and I couldn't use the material. So anyway, that's why this is already out of the box. Uh, you're not missing anything with the box. The box was just uh, kind of like a plain blue window box, nothing special about it. Uh, this is a sealed body diecast car. Uh, the front wheels do move. You can move back and forth and the steering wheel does kind of move with them. Uh, I think for the price though, these are pretty decent. Uh, this one, because it's red, I had trouble. I wanted a red one and I had ordered this directly from China. So it took uh, a few months, I think, until it showed up and you can kind of see that front left wheel is cocked kind of like cocked out a little bit i don't know i think something's up with the wheels maybe it's just the way it's sitting there but um it looks like an auto art from a slight slight distance but when you get closer you'll quickly realize it's not auto art but it is a very 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 good alternative especially if you think i paid like 55 dollars with free shipping for this at the time um and I kind of regret I sold my oak green or whatever that I forget what that was called. The dark green one I had was an auto art, but I sold it for like five times what I paid for it. So I do regret selling that one. And I do have a review up, which I'll put a lot of Audi material links at the uh, end of this video. If you're interested in the S1 Audi like I am, it's one of my favorite cars of all time besides the F40. Um, this, this is right up there with it. But let's let's stop it here and we'll take a look. And see what's it doing with this if i can get the turntable to cooperate there we go like i said this this wheel oh it's worse than i thought this this wheel you can look at it it's really it's really pushed pushed out Eesh. so something's going on with that wheel there when you put it Great. It's not as noticeable. I don't know what's going on there with that. Oh, well, probably because it's busted. It's busted clean off. No wonder it was. No wonder it's sitting kind of out right. It's the uh, sp spindle there is busted. Okay. Well, that explains it because when it came in the mail, it looked like the way the guy had packaged it. I think it made it even worse. He had it like smushed, smushed down in, which is a shame. But there's the detail uh really similar to the auto art very very similar but i will have to fix that front wheel which i do have videos on how to repair 118th scale wheels when they break off so looks like i'll be it's been a few years since i've done one but i'll have to probably drill it out and i'll put a coat hanger axle in a little stub in the front there we got some ghosting you can kind of see on the hood i'm not sure what that is but it probably could be polished out uh the paint finish on the roof doesn't look bad there's a little bit of orange peel when you get close up to these it's definitely no auto art we have some it's a nice looking audi badge right here but the auto art had badges on the center of the wheels that were absolutely look like it was honey i shrunk the kids type of detail it looked like a real car so there's some differences um that are pretty plain to see but like the door handles they're not it's not bad uh it's no uh, no auto art we can see we got the ricardo lo logos on the seat backs these cars came like that with those aftermarket ricardo style seats It is definitely not bad for $55. I don't know what they go for now. I know the red was a premium one uh, last time I had looked on eBay, but um, it's got some dust and stuff. I did not clean this up at all, so it probably could be a lot of this could be cleaned up. 
but it is a sealed body so that's unfortunately i can't open open up the interior to show you guys but it's not bad not bad at all definitely will look cool in a display case once i get the wheel fixed that's kind of a shame but you can see that did have they did they, they do have uh brake calipers in there there's some brake caliper detail i don't know how good the rotors you can't really see through the those renault wheels um which they were 15 inch wheels i believe by like nine inches wide in their day was a big deal but the wheel detail on this is horrendous compared to the auto art like the spokes are a little a little too chunky and there's just kind of something's going on right there with the 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 wheel looks a little weird to me but overall it's not bad um really for what it is especially be, not too many people are going to be willing to spend seven hundred dollars to a thousand dollars for the auto art so this is a great alternative if you want 19th scale and of course the hood does not open as far as i can tell right now uh, we have some black overspray here from where they mask off to do those nostril vents but it's overall it is really not not bad not too shabby that's it i just wanted to show you guys quick that uh since this is the third time now i've done this review and i think i feel cursed with this car for a reason now the the you got the the wheel is definitely separated from the uh, little stub there and um i don't know we'll see if this comes out because i'm tired of filming this over and over and over again uh, the interior is supposed to be black and gray which I believe it was suede or maybe like a style Alcantara back then, but I think it was real suede when these came out. So there you go. Hopefully I can hide this axle mess here. We're gonna see as it comes around. Oh, well, it looks pretty bad. We'll just put the wheels straight. We'll put the wheels straight and it's not as noticeable, but I'll repair that. It's not a huge deal and I like fixing things. So there you go. That is the NORAV 118th scale Audi S1 Sport Quattro what a beast absolutely beast they were five cylinder turbo look them up if you're not familiar but they're 20 valve engines the this sound to this day is still one of the most beautiful sports car sounds ever produced in my opinion absolutely beast of a car i love it short wheelbase i only ever seen one of these which was red just like this with the white wheels a uh, real one at one point in time at the uh old imperial car museum in las vegas years ago that is disbanded now but they had all kinds of awesome vehicles in that in that museum they were known for the Duesenbergs. i think they had like 30 Duesenbergs in one spot and jay leno purchased a couple from the museum but they had a red s1 just like this there and it was the only one i've ever seen in person so this is a big big dollar car nowadays so there you go thanks for watching if you like this type of video be sure to give me a like share subscribe all good stuff if you're not a member member i always say that if you're not a subscriber please consider it's free you can't be free and hit the bell for notifications and until next time i will see you guys later i think i'm getting my voice back fine the season's changed i've had all kinds of issues allergies i guess all right you guys have a good night see you later all right bye now